I knew I wanted to become a doctor probably during the last year of my undergraduate degree. I'd thought about what to do and how to do it. By that time, both my parents had died of cardiac disease, and so it occurred to me that this was something I could do. I didn't know, however, that I was smart enough to do it. Medical school was crazy, as it is for uh, virtually all physicians. It was really tough. When I was teaching medical students, that I reminded them that they need to keep in touch with what's going on in the world. I ended up, during my last two years of medical school, getting the Public Health Service Scholarship. I had been in a flood in Kansas City during uh, medical school, and uh, in that flood I lost virtually everything, but I had already applied for the Public Health Service Scholarship. This job became available and the previous health officer recruited me, and I thought this could be a fun uh, period of time. So I've been here now for almost six years. I do plan to retire in Las Vegas. My favorite part of the day is being able to interact with patients. My other favorite part of the day is when I can interact with employees here. It's just a sweet relationship that I have with most of the employees. I like to stop by, talk to patients, uh, talk to parents, talk to kids. The things I like to do are pretty much normal things. Uh, well, normal things for me. I am an avid square dancer. I love to kayak and to canoe. The people who are most important to me are, uh, for the most part, a lot of my employees. I love interacting with uh, with patients, as I mentioned earlier, uh, with my staff, they are part of the most fun part of my life. The other part that I really like is my friendships. My reaction when I found out that I was being honored by this award was just shock and amazement. Uh, public health generally works in the background. I, I can't do that myself. I have to be out there working with partners all the time, but I try to take the quiet route and work behind the scenes to help protect the community from West Nile virus or tuberculosis or measles um, or chronic diseases. So I guess I wasn't aware that people knew really who I was and the kind of work that I do. Down here, my staff are so smart. Uh, they are so thoughtful, they are so innovative uh, that we have come up with several different programs that have been, at least when we instituted them, unique in the nation. Dr. Iser, uh, congratulations on your honor and distinction. So totally well-deserved and just appreciate everything you do for our valley, for Southern Nevada Health District, for our communities. You truly are an inspiration. You're a driving force for preventative care, um, keeping a watchful eye to make sure we're all safe in Las Vegas. My experience with him in the last three or four years have been really rewarding. He has been a true partner and collaborator to benefit not only the health of uh, Southern Nevada, but our, our students and the next generation of healthcare providers. I congratulate you, Joe. Congratulations, Joe. I am so proud to work with you and to know you. You've truly changed my perspective of public health and you've made an impact in my career. Thank you for everything. I think it's my job to help prepare whoever the next generation is. It's my job to make sure that people are well trained and well experienced so that when they go to their next job, they bring something to that job with them. The people I look up to are the people who uh, have given me an opportunity to advance my career. There were people who encouraged me to go back and get my doctoral degree after I'd finished medical school and residency. I also look up to some of my family. Um, I have a niece who had uh, a very, very rare form of cancer that could have been fatal. Uh, she came through it uh, and uh, I really look up to her for the work that she has done within the family and for her family. I'm not sure that I'm worthy of this. Um, I certainly wouldn't be worthy on my own. I'm only worthy in representing the employees that I've worked with over 40 years of working in public health, the patients who have taught me how to be a kinder, more compassionate physician, the employees who have taught me uh, a lot about their lives and how I can help them. Many of you are much, much better clinicians than I am much better researchers than I am. I'm in awe that, uh, that Jerry decided to nominate me and that uh, the group who makes the decision decided also to honor me.
Thank you.